Level zero extraction. Is it worth a buy? Let's read the words of the words of the developer. Tactical extract and shooter meets immersive survival horror. Players rival mercenaries fighting for loot, or as alien monsters hunting humans from the shadows. Solo or with friends, experience this unique dark take on asymmetrical PvPVEVPVEVEVP multiplayer. Basically, guys, this is an extract and shooter where you're sent to you're a mercenary or an alien. I'll come to all that in a second. Uh, but basically. Four teams of three mercenaries are sent to this place. I don't even know. I didn't even bother with the story, to be honest, because it doesn't matter in a, in a, in a game like this. It's not a single-player game, essentially. Um, you can play it single-player, but not with bots or anything like that. You, you will literally just be put onto a team with other people um, if you want to play this solo. Uh, but anyway, getting back to what I was saying... There's four teams of three mercenaries sent into this complex and one team of two aliens sent in. And the object is, as a mercenary, is to loot as much stuff as you can and then extract out. Uh, extraction is not simple. You have to go to the, one of the extraction zones that you can see on the map and you have to wait there. And when you start the sequence to extract, um, a big PA system comes on telling every single other player and monster that someone's trying to extract. Now that sounds fun, it sounds great. I was so excited because I thought this is gonna be awesome, this, because the graphics look decent. Um, that's about it. Uh, you see, the big problem with this game is you spend more time as a joiner than you do as a mercenary because the multi-million pound company that hired your ass as a mercenary only give you two fucking guns. Yeah, that's right, two guns. And if you lose them, in other words, if you die, you lose them. And that's it. Oh, but yeah, go and buy another gun. Well, here's the big f***ing problem, guys. You can't just go to the traders, there's five of them, and say, hey, can I have another gun? They'll say, yes. Um, how about this pistol? Oh, looks good to me. Oh, what's it, how's it going? What is it? $6,000? Three pairs of pliers, please. Sorry? Uh, th three pairs of long-nosed pliers, please, sir. I, I don't have any. Well, you can't have the gun. Yeah, but I I've, got, I've got all this money. Yeah. We don't want any money. We want three pairs of long-nosed plies. You can get them at B and Q for twelve fifty each. So you have to go into the fucking guys. I swear, you have to, <laughs> have to go into the level, and you have to find three pairs of long-nosed fucking pliers in a huge fucking map like this. There could be anywhere. Um, all right, I'll not bother with the pistol. Then I'll not bother with the pistol. Uh, oh, that rifle there. Ah, I need four rolls of insulation. <laughs> Four rolls of it. Hey, tell you what, tell you what, you should have all just gone to fucking B and Q, bought the sh shit ton of DIY stuff, and you'd be fucking minted. You'd be loaded. You could buy everything, or can you? No, because you have to have reputation. It's all about the rep, guys. You go in and you take the fucking heat off the aliens and the other players, and that gets you rep. Well, it doesn't actually. It gets you nothing. Uh, what you have to do is find all the long nose pliers. And it's a DIY simulator. And the, the tape and all of the tools like that. And then come out and each bit of tool will be worth a bit of rep. And you sell that to the traders and that builds up their rep. Uh, we played for a couple of hours last night and I got two rep. Uh, you need like 10 rep for a good f***ing gun. Uh, so you can imagine how much... You, it's, 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 it, this game is tool hunter. That's what it should be called. Level zero tool hunter. Find the tools to get the rep. Absolute fucking garbage, guys. So, as you can imagine, on launch day, all that happened, we played about, I don't know, 10 games last night, the three of us, and um, we spent 99% of the time with a nail gun, fighting other players with nail guns, because everybody had lost their fucking weapons. No one had any rep. It was just joinery wars. Yeah, there was like... 12 joiners running around a map with two f***ing aliens there. It was laughable, guys. Laughable. I can't understand why they've done... Why the f***? Why? I, I, guys, I swear. I, I just... I can't get my head around what goes through some developers' minds when they are created. Whose idea? We'll give them nail guns, yes. And we'll give them a good rifle and we'll give them a good pistol. Yeah, but they're going to lose them probably in the first few games. Yes, yes, they will. Um, yeah, but then they're not going to be able to get new weapons for ages. Yes, that's right. They'll have to just use the nail gun that you get free every time you uh, go in. But 
that's shit. No, that, that's fun. I know for a fact, because I've done my research and everybody that I've spoke to that's a gamer loves running around with a nail gun shooting aliens. There's missions as well, which are even harder. Um, there's missions you can do to get better rewards, essentially. Uh, and they're very, very hard, especially when you when you when your tools <laughs> include a fucking torch and a nail gun. Now the torch, don't diss the torch, Mark. The torch is not too bad. Because the aliens, you see, the two monsters, um, they take damage from your, your nail gun. Not much, mind. Um, but they take quite a bit of damage from your torch. Not the torch that you have on your suit. But your actual proper torch from B and Q again. Mac, are you sponsored by B and Q? I should be. Uh, anyway, you have this flashlight. Aliens hate the light. Now you can switch lights on. You've got flares. You've got glow sticks. You've got torches. So well, flashlights, if you're American. So you shine all them lights onto the monsters, and they dissolve. Now the monsters can be invisible. They have an energy bar, um, and as they use certain abilities, that brings the energy down. But if they eat eggs, uh, fried eggs, guys, that they find around, they not fried, just alien eggs, they get a boost back up of their energy and um, they, they, have, they slash at you they can spit at you to put your flares out uh, and kind of disorientate you they can go invisible all kinds of stuff but it's so boring because as an alien you spend nearly all the time running around pressing x x x rear vision looking for the, the place and you need x-ray i'm not going to play the song but all right Mike, just uh, no. You need X-ray vision in this because if you didn't, you'd never find them because the, the maps are quite a quite a large area and there's not a lot of players. Like I say, there's only 12 of them in here. So you do actually need it. And you know, you can give it a pass with, with stuff like an alien kind of monster. It has like these extra sensory you know, sensors to, to pick them up. But again, that drains your energy. And uh, you know, when you've got three players shining torches on you, you don't last five seconds. I found it very, very boring. I found the whole game boring. Your player feels like he's running through treacle. Um, I tell you what, he has the weakest arms. I've got my arms busted. And I can get, I can pick up a gun and move up to aim down sights quicker with my broken arm than these mercenaries can. Honestly, you, you would think they were f***ing pissed and half asleep. It's like, quickly aim down sights. Okay. It's terrible. It's just terrible, guys. I can't believe it's not good. I can't believe that they've got such a great idea, great graphics, some good looking loot, and they've put it behind a huge grind wall with crappy combat. Damn. Damn, damn. Dammity, damn, damn, guys. That's about it, really. It's just boring. I just found it. There's no way I'm going to grind all this for a pistol that I'm probably going to lose. No. I'm not, you can keep your long nose f***ing pliers, I ain't got to find them for you. 